Welcome to another episode of the Smoking Apples Video Reviews. I'm Milan Dalvis and let's get started. Today I'm going to talk about Bento and how I use it to manage a few of my databases. Bento is designed to be a database application for someone who has never used one before. I personally failed my Microsoft Access exam in college, so that goes to show how much I know about databases. For this video, I'm going to show you how I used to manage my developer contacts right from customizing the form to using smart collections to sort them out. We go over to the file menu and create a new library. This loads up the template window. As you can see, Pento ships with a variety of templates that give you a good idea of what projects you could manage. All these templates are fully customizable, so choose the one closest to your needs. I'm going to choose contacts as that best suits what I'm doing. This loads up your new project in the project window. As you can see, things are pretty straightforward. Of course, you can completely customize your project window right from the colors, the background, to its form elements. You can then select and delete any form elements you don't need. I can also drag the boxes to the size I need them to be. I'll reduce the mail field to a single line. For my dev contacts, I like to enter Twitter details, so I'm going to create a new text field with the title Twitter. This will load it up in the fields list. Drag it into wherever you want it and resize. I also like to maintain a list of URLs. So I'll drag in the preset URL list form from the sidebar. I can also create a choice list for choosing between Mac and iPhone developers. Need a checkbox? Done! A new feature in Bento 2 is mail linking. You can add the mail list field and then just drag and drop emails in for future reference. You can then quick look them or double click it to open it up as a mail message. Notice how each type of element has innate functions. The address field can be made to open up a Google Maps location. The URL list can open up links in your web browser. You can also drag in URLs from your web browser to add them to the list. With this I can directly email someone without having to open up mail. You can also create multiple forms for the same entry. So if I maintain some extra details for certain contacts, I can leave out those elements from the overview and add fields in the details form. All forms are linked to the same database entry, so there's no overlap. I like the way everything is customizable using just the mouse. Need to change the form name? Just double click it. When you're finally done entering all your contacts, you can switch over to the table view to see them at a glance. You can use search to narrow down the list. And you can split the view to quickly go through different entries. Everything is live and active. I also use smart collections to divide my contacts between iPhone and Mac developers. So just create a new smart collection, change the criteria, and it will automatically draw in those entries. The address book and iCal integration is also welcome. Bento uses the same database store as address book and iCal, so there's no syncing involved. What you see in Bento is the same as address book or iCal. Now 
I also use Bendo to manage giveaway winners, some of my personal expenses, and some others that I can't disclose. As you can see, Bendo can be used for a lot of different scenarios. You just need to be creative. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, don't hesitate in letting us know at pr at smokingapples.com. This video is sponsored by Clean My Mac, the ultimate solution for cleaning your Mac from trash files. Get your free trial at macpaw.com. Thanks for watching.